Back in 1999, Capcom re-released the six Famicom Rock Band games for the PlayStation in Japan, adding in a wide array of extras along the way. Several years later, Capcom commissioned Atomic Planet to port the work to the PlayStation 2 and GameCube, and then later the Xbox. I've gone on record complaining about just how poor of a job Atomic Planet did, and how many of the Rockman Complete Works extras were cut from the Mega Man Anniversary Collection completely. Now, a decade after Atomic Planet's collection, we have Mega Man Legacy Collection, and with it, a host of new problems. I'll be reviewing the PS4 version of Legacy Collection once I go through everything thoroughly, but for now, I just want to talk about the audio. One of the first things you'll notice about this collection is the terrible, terrible audio. What's strange is that it's an intermittent problem, so you won't always hear the same problems in every song, but it's something that does happen often and it's something that is really terrible. It seems to fix itself with time, but I don't get it. I'm hearing conflicting reports if this also occurs with the Xbox One version. I don't know yet. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. First, here is a sample of what the audio should sound like via nes.mu via my OUYA. And here is what Legacy Collection sounds like. What the hell, Capcom? 